Welcome to Effective Tubing Tools Techniques, Overview and Step-by-Step -step Instructions. With the largest single line of top quality, durable HVAC and R tools in the industry, Yellow Jacket is a name professionals like you all over the world have come to trust. This is the third in a series of videos designed to help you work smarter and safer. With this DVD, we offer you the instruction and straightforward how-to knowledge to go along with the tools you rely on to do your job. We hope you'll find this guide beneficial to both you and your business. Now, let's get started. While installing or servicing HVAC and our systems, you'll undoubtedly be required to install or repair the supply and discharge tubing to and from the various system components. Understanding the proper methods for using your tubing tools will help you be more efficient. Plus, when you follow these procedures, you'll prevent harm to both you and your tools while getting the job done right the first time. Before we begin, let's talk briefly about safety. It's important to understand how each tool is designed to function and make sure you have all the right tools in your bag to do every job correctly. Attempting to use a tool in a manner it was never intended may result in personal injury, damage to the equipment, or destruction of the tool. Also, always be aware of the refrigerant you're working with and the state the system is in when beginning your work. You may or may not be required to perform a lockout procedure before doing anything to the system. Finally, be responsible and always wear eye protection as well as a good pair of work gloves when it's appropriate. There are a variety of tools available for you to choose from for every procedure we demonstrate in this video. We'll illustrate how to use the most popular tools for each procedure based on our experience interacting with professionals like you. We suggest you try different techniques before determining your preference. The procedures we'll cover include cutting, deburring, flaring, swaging, and bending. All of the tools we cover in this video are for use with soft copper only, unless otherwise noted. Cutters come in a variety of shapes and sizes. We recommend you have a few different style cutters in your toolbox in order to handle various situations out in the field. It's also a good idea to have spare parts for all your cutting tools nearby. Service kits are available and have all the necessary parts to keep your workflow from coming to a halt. Let's take a closer look at the most popular styles of cutting tools. While there are cutting tools for diameters from 1 8 to 5 and 1 8 inch tubing, the two most popular styles are similar to this Yellow Jacket Premium Tube Cutter and Heavy Duty Mini Cutter. The Premium Tube Cutter cuts 1 8 to 1 and 1 8 inch diameter tubing and features wide rollers with a flare cutoff groove. Here's how it works. After marking your cut line, retract the tool's cutting wheel by rotating this feed screw counterclockwise until the opening is large enough for the tube to slip into the jaw of the tool. Line up the cutting wheel with your mark and gently rotate the feed screw clockwise until the tool's jaw closes, just enough to slightly grip the tube between the rollers and the cutting wheel. Now gently turn the feed screw an additional quarter turn so the cutting wheel applies a small amount of pressure to the tube. Don't over tighten the jaw or you might damage the cutting wheel and tube. Now slowly roll the entire tool and pay close attention to the score left behind by the cutting wheel. This is your cutting line. From here, continue to gently tighten the feed screw every two to three times you roll the tool around the tube. Taking your time will help prevent the cutting wheel from jumping your original score line and compromising your cut. As with many of the cutters, the premium tube cutter has a spare cutting wheel tucked away in the handle, so you'll never have to worry about being on the job site without a spare blade. It also comes with a deburring blade, and it can be modified with a blunt wheel to double as a constrictor tool for rolling down or capping off the diameter of your tubing. The second most popular style cutter is like this mini cutter, designed for heavy duty cutting from 1 8 to 7 8 inch diameter tubing. This tool features a wide body for an easy grip, large rollers, and a flare cutoff groove. The operation of the mini cutter is identical to the premium tube cutter and is especially useful in tight spaces. 
The key to making the perfect cut every time is a sharp wheel and patience. Without both, you'll most likely get a cut that is either surrounded by multiple score lines or a cut that has partially collapsed the tube. Let's take a look at what over-tightening the tool's grip really does to the tube. Here is a perfect cut. And here's a cut from a tool that has been over-tightened. Notice the thickness of the tube's wall at the point of the cut. This cut has rounded off the end of the tube, and the wall thickness of the tube itself has been compromised and may crack when you flare or swage that end. In contrast, the tube with the perfect cut has its entire wall thickness intact at the cut end. Along with the conventional cutters we've just looked at, there are specialty cutters, such as this innovative tight spot flare cutoff tool from Yellow Jacket. As the name implies, it allows you to get into very tight quarters to remove the flare on smaller size tubing. When you're dealing with an existing application where all you can afford to remove is the flare, this tool is just what you need. Now that the cut is finished, it may be necessary to remove the burrs left behind on your cut. Burrs are the little metal shavings that turn up on the inside wall of your tubing at the cut point. These shavings must be completely removed or they'll compromise the seal and integrity of the entire HVAC and R system. You'll notice far fewer burrs if you use a sharp cutting wheel. This is one of the most popular styles of tube deburring tools. The blade for removing burrs is very sharp, so pay close attention to how you operate this tool to prevent personal injury. Like cutting, it's very important that your deburring tool has a sharp blade. This particular model comes with blades inside the handle. Point the end of the tubing slightly downward. This allows gravity to work in your favor, encouraging the burrs to fall out and away from the tube. If the burrs fall inside the tubing as you remove them, you must take a moment and clear them out before continuing on. While holding the grip firmly, Insert the deburring blade into your tube and apply a small amount of pressure between the blade and interior wall. While applying this pressure, rotate the blade around the interior wall of the tube, shaving the burrs off as you go. Remember, the blade is very sharp. Work carefully and keep your fingers away from the blade. Pay attention to whether or not the burr peelings are curling inward or outward as you use your tool. Try to peel them outward so the burrs easily fall out and away from the tube. Notice the burrs will peel up and away from the path of the blade and easily drop out of the tube. Using your deburring tool in this manner makes it far less likely you'll need to retrieve the burrs that fall inside your tubing. Deburring should be a fairly straightforward procedure. If the tube was properly cut to begin with, the burrs should easily shave off and fall away. In the best case scenario, the burrs will require only one pass to remove them, which means less time to complete the job and less chance of an injury. If the original cut was executed poorly, you may find the burrs require far more pressure to remove. Not only does this increase your chance of injury, but it will most likely result in a thin tube wall, which may cause cracking during the flare or swaging procedure. Another popular tool for removing burrs is a tube reamer and burr remover tool. This particular tool removes inner and outer burrs from the cut, and it too requires little force if the original cut was executed properly. Simply place the tool over your cut, again holding the tube at a downward slant, and rotate the entire tool clockwise until the burrs have been completely removed. The premium tube cutter previously demonstrated is equipped with a deburring blade. This particular blade requires a paring 